Hello and welcome to Jemmy Price, Jemmy Wizard's state-of-the-art online pricing system for diamonds, fancy colored diamonds, gemstones and jewelry. In this video we shall demonstrate the pricing of gemstones. We have three pricing modes for ascertaining the prices of gemstones according to their specifications. Price search, price list and price calculator. Let's start with the price search mode. In this mode we can search and fine-tune the price of a gemstone by defining its most important properties. First we would need to select the gemstone type. For example, let's find the price of a ruby. When we select ruby from the list, notice that the color ruler representing the different grades of ruby appears in the color section. Next we'll define the shape of the ruby, for example, oval. Now let's define the ruby size. We can choose either to define the weight in carats or calibrated size for the most common standard sizes or its dimensions. In our case, we are looking for a stone of calibrated size between 6x4 and 6x5 millimeters. Now let's define the ruby's color grade. To help with the color selection, it is possible to upload our gem image. We have three options to select the color, so let's go through them. We can select the color grade from the color ruler, for example gem. A subruler with other colors representing the gem grade appears. We can choose one of these colors if they resemble our gem's color. We can use the value chart. The overlay window opens with Gemmy Wizard's renowned square of colors with the 31 main gem hues with all of the main hues attributed to rubies highlighted. Clicking on the main hue that is closest to our ruby's color opens a tone saturation grid that represents this particular hue. Hovering above any color image in the grid will show the specific color's commercial name used in the trade, such as Vibrant Red, Vivid Red and Pigeon Blood. We can use the arrows on the sides of the grid to move up or down between the main hues. We need to select the color from the grid that most represents our gem's color. Our selection appears under the Your Selection section. Note that we can email a colleague or a customer the selected color together with our gemstone's image. Clicking on the Select Color button will send the selected color back to the Price Search page. We can also enter the color directly using the drop-down lists, if we happen to know the Gemmy Wizard color code that represents our gem's color. Finally, we need to determine the transparency, clarity, cut and treatment properties. Let's set transparency to transparent, clarity to slight, cut to very good and treatment to heated. It is very important to define the treatment as it may have a significant impact on value. The summary of all the properties of the ruby we have defined appears in the pricing table at the bottom of the page. We just need to click on the calculate price button to view the prices. In this case we obtain the price range since the size we defined covered two weight groups half a carat to three quarters of a carat. Note that when hovering above a row in the table, the gem image and color image corresponding to the row appear. This is to help us identify the different price searches we had executed in the table. Now let's examine the price list mode. Here a full price list in tabular form appears with rows displaying the sizes in both calibrated size and carat weight and the columns displaying the various color grades. The prices in the table are set according to the parameters in the top section. We can change each parameter and see its influence on the prices. For example, let's modify clarity to moderate and also treatment to filling. The third mode is the price calculator mode. 
We would use this mode when we have specific details about a gem, for example from a lab report. We need to fill in all the gem's properties just like we did in the price search mode, except that now we have an exact weight of let's say 3.24 carats. Let's enter the weight in the actual weight field. Click on the Calculate Price button and get the price. Note that in this mode, as opposed to the price search mode, the prices are not saved. This brings us to the end of the video. Thank you and we hope you have found the information in this video helpful.